guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel and it is time for K-Beauty This or That episode 10. So K-Beauty This or That is when we put two super similar Korean skincare products uh, side by side. We do an in-depth comparison review and ultimately we decide which one's going to be better for you, this or that. So today I have a special edition because we're only talking about one star ingredient, which is snail. So I've got a battle of the repairing snail serums between Purito and Beauty of Jozan. Then we're going to go over to the fermented snail with Benton versus Eye Unique. And then I'm going to do a snail and peptides eye cream showdown between Cosrx and Mizan. So if you're so ready to get your this or that on, give the video a big thumbs up and let's get started. So let's just do a quick primer refresh on why you want snail in your skincare because it is really well known for its hydrating benefit and its repairing benefit. But snail also can calm and soothe sensitive and irritated skin. It's got fantastic wound healing abilities. Now, wound healing definitely will benefit those of you who suffer with acne, but wound healing also can help those of us with our anti-aging concerns because it's very skin regenerative. It's also packed full of very skin protective antioxidants. It can help protect and preserve the collagen on your skin. Collagen, name of the game if you want. Firm, elastic, supple, youthful skin. You gotta preserve that collagen. Snail can help you do that. And if that wasn't enough, right? Snail can actually help over time improve the look of fine lines and wrinkles. So literally any skin, skin concern can benefit from snail, like what can't it do? The so first up, some snail serums that claim to help repair the skin. Let's talk about Purito. Now this feature is 93% of snail, which is a really high amount. But what this formula is really banking on besides the snail is it's soothing, calming capabilities with centella. It contains centella extract along with madocasticide and asiaticide. Now the texture is very hydrating. It's almost gel-like, so it has that very refreshing and hydrating feel, but there is some balance to this. You know, it's not just pure hydration. There's a touch of moisture, non-greasy at all. Now I find myself reaching for this particular snail serum when my skin is irritated and dehydrated because there is something really special about that combination of snail and centella together they are just the perfect mix for dehydrated thirsty skin that is also irritated it really reduces inflammation it can really um, calm down redness and because of the way it's been formulated with a lot of hydration and that balancing non-greasy moisture it really does quench dehydrated skin as well and because because it is so like deeply hydrating, I do feel like this particular snail serum has a really nice plumping effect. It really hydrates your skin, plumps it up, makes it look so smooth. Let's talk Beauty of Jozan Ginseng and Snail Repair Serum. Now this features 3% of snail. Wait, so Purito has 93, this has 3%. Like how is that a this or that battle, Kelly? Like there's no snail in here. <laughs> it's not a lot, I get it. However, um, this is still a worthy this or that battle in my mind because remember, it isn't always just about how much of one ingredient is in a skincare product. It's about the overall formulation and how everything works in synchronicity, right? So the other ingredient here is the ginseng, right? It's 63.3% of ginseng root water. And what you guys need to know about these two ingredients, they've been formulated together to really harness their anti-wrinkle benefits. So ginseng is packed full of antioxidants. It also has a really well-known benefit for helping to improve the blood circulation. Now, what does that mean for skin? It can actually help to reveal a more healthier looking complexion. So snail and ginseng together in the serum, they've really been formulated to help improve your skin's collagen production. 
aka anti-aging, right? Because collagen is the name of the game for firm, elastic, and youthful looking skin. Plus, these two ingredients together really help bring out wound healing abilities. What is really interesting to know um, about these ingredients and just any ingredient that has a wound healing ability is that it has the ability to help improve fine lines and wrinkles because your skin doesn't necessarily know the difference between a popped pimple and a wrinkle in your skin. It recognizes both as wounds on the skin and so it can kind of help signal to your skin to go into those areas and repair them or heal them. So that's how it can actually have an anti-aging benefit along with benefits for things like pimples. It actually looks a lot thicker than it feels on the skin. Once you move this across your skin, you're going to get this really beautiful burst of hydration. That's got to be the snail coming through, right? And then you will feel this nice balancing moisture with just a, just a hint, like just a whisper of like balancing oil. It's really, really nice. It's incredibly light. It is not greasy at all. It absorbs so quickly into the skin. There's no shininess or richness on the top of your skin at all. Your skin just feels like really hydrated lightly moisturized and just very satisfied. Now, whenever I use products with ginseng, you know, I always expect complexion benefits because ginseng always seems to make my complexion look really, really like luminous and healthy. Not like glow in the dark or like really, really bright, but there's just something about it that really makes my skin look like I've been eating lots of fruits, lots of vegetables, and drinking tons of water for like a week straight, like eating super clean. You know how that always shows on your skin? That's what ginseng does, and this did not disappoint. I definitely got that luminous benefit. Along with the snail, you know, I felt like this was very sensitive, skin friendly. It brought a lot of balance, lots of hydration with a good, like a nice touch of moisture that wasn't heavy. It's been so hot here recently. So uh, testing the serum right now was like perfect perfect for me because it didn't make my skin feel thick and sticky and just like too heavy. So this or that, right? Because they both sound awesome and quite frankly, they are. Um, but I do think that they serve two slightly different purposes. Now, really the category of the battle is repairing serums and Purito in my mind really helps repair irritated skin because it is combining that centella and metacasticide with the soothing abilities of snail. Hey, I mean, this is the one that I've been reaching for so much when my skin is so dehydrated, it's irritated, it's a little ticked off, right? And it actually really helps with redness, inflammation, and breakouts as well. Beauty of Jozan, on the other hand, now, yeah, definitely there's a lot less snail in this one, but because it's really focusing in so much on ginseng combined with snail, I I really feel like the repairing benefits for this one are better for your anti-aging concerns. Because there's so much ginseng, this is really harnessing the ability to repair fine lines, wrinkles on the skin, help improve skin elasticity. So definitely more of the anti-aging repairing route. So two uh, great repairing serums, but for two slightly different skin concerns. Next up, our battle between fermented snail serums. Now, why do you want to ferment a skincare ingredient? Let's just touch on that really quickly. So in my mind, two reasons. Number one, it unlocks a lot of beneficial compounds like amino acids, antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals. And the second reason is that it actually helps the absorption of the skincare product. Now, we all want our skincare to absorb better, right? We don't want like a thick skincare layer on top of our skin. But when you get skincare to absorb deeper and better into the skin, it can actually work for you better and faster. So let's talk about Benton first. This features 70% of fermented snail secretion filtrate. Oh yeah, we're getting real snaily up in here. <laughs> It was really, it was really dorky. This is part of Benton's Snail B line, which means this is featuring B venom. So if you're allergic, just skip it, right? Now, B venom, as far as uh, benefits for the skin, it can actually really help plump up the skin and improve the look of fine lines and wrinkles. This also features niacinamide, so we have some good brightening uh, happening in here. This also features soothing extracts from green tea, aloe, and tea tree. Plus this has anti-aging adenosine. What does this not have, right? This has adenosine in it, which has great anti-aging benefits 
and barrier supportive panthenol and beta glucan some really beautiful hydrators for the skin the texture is so fantastic you know this is not your average snail texture it's not really gel like it's a very balancing serum texture that brings a good amount of hydration with just a really nice amount of moisture so good for oil water balance i can see this working across all different skin types one of the main benefits i noticed with the benton serum is that it really helps to reduce redness on the skin not only just like maybe just normal redness that you might just kind of always have but it's also really good when you have inflamed pimples and redness because it helps take down the redness and it helps take down the inflammation snail is actually just really good if you have um, acne in general because it, it is very healing remember so this is a great um, acne care serum but the other thing that I noticed about this is it's really great for helping to brighten up the skin. The niacinamide in this actually works really hard. Um, particularly good if you get dark marks after your acne. That's me. I get an inflamed pimple and I got a dark mark. And this is actually really good because I notice when I use this one, those dark marks do seem to heal up a little bit faster. They're fading away faster. Plus, this does have the anti-aging benefits to it as well. So this is kind of really delivering on a lot of different skin concerns if you have acne and you get your hyperpigmentation but you want your anti-aging like this is an all-in-one serum it serves a lot of different purposes and it really does deliver the benefits let's talk about iUnique unique black snail restore serum now this also features 70 percent of snail secretion filtrate but it's not fermented. What is fermented in this serum? The fermentation is coming in the form of three extracts, mistletoe, soybean, and coggin grass. Now, this is really, when you ferment these ingredients, what you're unlocking is hydration, brightening, and elasticity benefits. Along with that, we've got some other brighteners here on the ingredients list like niacinamide, rice bran extract, and licorice root, plus some calming coming from centella and mugwort, and even more, um, the antioxidant rich rose hip oil, which has some great um, skin regenerative properties. It's very barrier supportive and all around good for preventative anti aging benefits. Now, the texture is so pleasing. You know, iUnique really shines in this area, in my opinion, because they are so good at making very balanced serums, serums that are great for your oil water balance. Super lightweight, non greasy, easily absorbed, not sticky not tacky if you've used their propolis or their beta glucan serums this is no exception to that this has that wonderful lovely i call it sort of like a pillowy texture when you get it across your skin it just has this really beautiful like cushioned feel very comforting it absorbs very quickly onto the skin hydrates balances without greasiness as far as benefits go you know it definitely is a serum that has well, I wouldn't say it's wildly calming to irritated skin. It does have calming benefit to it, definitely. Um, it does seem to reduce redness. It does seem to help with pimples, but I have to admit, it just doesn't seem as like, wow, as the Benton. And I will admit, um, I did not, even though there is quite a bit of brightening in this one, I really didn't notice the brightening benefit that I noticed with Benton, which leads me into our this or that question, right? So let's get into it. Now, I actually enjoy both of these products a lot. I know I say that a lot, but that's because I make it hard on myself by choosing two really great products, right? And then saying which one is better. And it's like, ah, I don't know. I think that it's Benton uh, if I have to pick one. And really why I say that is because Benton ferments the snail. I unique, it's fermented soybean mistletoe you know those are good supportive extracts to find in your skincare snail is a superstar ingredient right it is it is the lead actor right um, when you ferment that that's amazing when you ferment the supportive stuff it's okay overall it is what i what i would classify as a flashy skincare product that's not bad by the way what that means is it's it's a product you never question if it's working you use it and in a, like a week or two you're like wow this is working so good for my skin i can see how it already is brightening up my skin or i can see how my acne is improving or whatever the case may be right you will never question this i unique 100% is the type of product I can see using for a month and be like, this isn't doing anything. Like, is it brightening my skin? I don't know. Stop using it for a week and then you start to miss it because it definitely is beneficial, 
but it's such a silent player. It just kind of works in the background and you, you know, blink and you'll miss it kind of deal because it's not in your face with benefits where Benton is. So we've got bigger, better, right? Benefits with Benton and like a nice, calm, supportive type of skincare. If we have to go head to head, I gotta say Benton. You know, I gotta say Benton just because it seems to work faster and better. I Unique, I actually still really do enjoy. If you're watching this, this or that battle and you're kinda like, pick one, Kelly. I will say if you do have acne and redness um, and you do suffer from hyperpigmentation, go for the Benton because you're gonna love those benefits. And our final battle is the battle of snail eye creams that happen to feature peptides. So the Costa Rex eye cream features 72% of snail and it also has niacinamide. Now, it's really hard to get excited about niacinamide, doesn't it? Because it feels like it's thrown into every skincare product these days. I think it was probably in every product we've already talked about. But I do mention it because I particularly like to see them in eye creams. Yes, they bring brightening, but it also has some anti-aging benefits associated with it. So throw the niacinamide into the eye cream. I'm A-OK -okay with that. This does also feature five different peptides. Another ingredient that I particularly like to see in eye creams, because I, I do see a lot of benefits from peptides. However, however, you know what I'm about to say, right? But which ones though? Because they don't all do the same thing. <laughs> that sounds exactly like me. I mean it though, because not all peptides bring the anti-aging benefits that we associate the word peptides with. So it is worth looking a little bit further to find out which ones are in products. So the first peptide is copper tripeptide one. And I call this the gold standard peptide for anti-aging because this helps to stimulate collagen production. Believe it or not, around the age of 25 is when your body starts to uh, decrease its collagen production. It stops making as much as it used to. So that's when you start to become more vulnerable to the signs of what I would consider to be premature aging around the age of 25, right? And as you get older, it just decreases more and more and more. So this type of peptide, amazing to find in an eye cream because this is going to help keep that eye area looking young. Next up is acetylhexapeptide A. This is considered the Botox peptide because it can give like a, a nearly immediate effect on the skin to firm and lift it. It's important to understand that the effect is temporary, which means that when you stop using the skincare product with acetylhexapeptide 8, the benefit goes away, that, that effect goes away. Unlike copper tripeptide 1, which is actually working within your skin to help repair it and produce more collagen, acetylhexapeptide 8, it's just temporary. Amazing, fantastic like look but temporary. This also features palmitoyl pentapeptide 4, also known on the street as matrixyl, also known as an easier way to say it. So matrixyl actually really helps to improve the look of wrinkles. And um, it's actually, what's special about it is it actually can do that in very small quantities. It's a very potent peptide, if you will. And finally, two peptides, palmitoyl tripeptides 1 and 7, known on the street, why do I keep saying that? Um, as Matrixyl 3000. Hey, you want some Matrixyl 3000? I got you covered. You want to see these together because they actually work um, in synchronicity. They work better together. And what they uh, work to do is they help to protect collagen on the skin and improve the look of fine lines. So the texture is true snail. You know, it is quite stringy, which is not Sticky, but actually the texture is quite pleasing for an eye cream because it's very light. It spreads across the eye area without any tugging. It absorbs so well. It is quite nourishing, but still in a lightweight kind of creamy texture. Now let's talk about the Mizan Snail Repair Eye Cream. This features 80% of snail. Oh yeah, we, we got more snail going on in here. This also features niacinamide for the brightening and the anti-aging, and this features two peptides. So let's get into it, which one? So this features copper tripeptide one, and I can't stress enough, this is the peptide that you want to see if you are seeking anti-aging benefits. The second and final peptide found here is palmitoyl tripeptide five known on the street as Syncol, which is um, actually 
pretty prominent in a lot of K-Beauty products. Now this peptide is um, really great for helping to improve the elasticity on the skin, but it's a fantastic combination with copper tripeptide, in my eyes at least, because Syncol can really help to protect and boost collagen on your skin. So Syncol, protecting the collagen you already have, copper tripeptide one, helping your skin to produce more. The texture is actually really similar to Cosrx, but it doesn't have the stringiness to it. Very light, quickly absorbed. This is is actually a little bit more on the hydrating side where Cosrx is more on the nourishing side between the two, right? So this has a little bit more hydration with just a touch of balancing moisture. No greasiness here at all. It never interferes with makeup. I can see this working for all skin types, all eye areas. It's a very, very pleasing texture. So this or that. Now, this was a really hard one for me uh, to decide which one was, you know, better because they're both really great products. Now, how my eye area responds to a, a eye cream, right? It's gonna be different. I can't guarantee your results will be the same skin. It's super individual. You know, the old saying, your mileage may vary. So, so true, especially with eye creams. That being said, having used both eye creams, I can't say that one was really better than the other for me, benefits wise. You know, they both kept my eye area moisturized, protected, plumped, refreshed, and brightened, which is really all I ask for with my eye creams. Um, and they definitely seem to have some protective um, um, benefits to them. I'm very happy with my eye area for my age right now. Neither one of them edged ahead uh, of the other. Mizan, definitely the more affordable pick, right? About $14, where Costarex about $22, give or take. So that's definitely a consideration for you guys. If you are what I would call a more is more person, you're looking at both of these and you're saying, I'm gonna go for Costarex because it's got more peptides. If you're like, better safe than sorry, I'm gonna take all the peptides I can get now and not be sorry 10 years down the road. If that's you, you know, go for Cosrx. It's definitely still a very affordable eye cream with peptides in it. But if Mizan is more the speed of your budget, don't feel bad because it really performs neck and neck with Cosrx. And quite frankly, I just feel like neither, like with either one of these, you just, you can't go wrong. Woohoo! Oh my gosh, you guys, that is the end. That is a wrap for episode 10 of This or That. I can't believe we've done 10 episodes. And hey, I love that you guys love this review series so much. So definitely, as always, let me know what you want to see on the next episode, because if you still love them, I'm going to still keep making them. Now, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, but you enjoyed this or that, you want to see some more Korean skincare content from me, please hit subscribe. I release two new K beauty focus videos every single week. Turn on the notifications so you're never out of the loop. And if you want to connect with me further, um, come join me on Instagram. It's like my home away from home. I post reviews. I introduce lots of new products over there. I'm super active in my stories. So come join me on Instagram. Don't forget to say hi. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.